Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the tech specialists here at Warmzilla. Before we start, you can get a new boiler, EV charger, or smart home technology with installation using the links down below. Please like and subscribe for more helpful videos like this one. I got 99 problems, but the radiator isn't one of them. There are several common problems that can mean your radiators aren't working properly. Your radiators might not warm up, or they might only get hot at the top or at the bottom, or your radiators might be noisy and need bleeding, or you might have a radiator that's leaking. If your radiator is not warming up at the top, you probably have air trapped inside. You can let the air out by bleeding the radiator with a radiator key. You can buy one of these from a DIY store. So your radiator is cold at the bottom, but hot at the top. What does this mean? You might have sludge or rust blocking your radiator or pipes. This is tricky to fix, so it's best to ask a gas safe registered engineer to take a look. Hello! They may need to power flush your central heating system to remove the blockage. After that, they will add an inhibitor solution to stop future buildup. So what do you do if your radiator is not getting hot at all? If your heating is on and other radiators are working fine, you may have stuck or frozen valves. These stop water from getting into the radiator, or again, sludge or rust may be to blame. In some cases, there may be a bigger problem going back to your boiler. We recommend you ask a gas safe registered Hello engineer again. to take a look. You might need to have your central heating system power flushed. So your radiator is making strange or loud noises. <coughs> Noisy radiators aren't usually anything to worry about. And a ticking or clicking sound is just the metal of the radiator expanding or contracting as it warms up or cools down. If the noise is coming from under the floor, it's probably the pipes expanding or contracting. You might also hear the radiator whistling if the water flow rate is too high. So try turning the radiator valve fully on and this should stop the whistle completely. Banging, clanking, or gurgling sounds can be caused by air in the radiator. Bleeding your radiators could fix the problem, and some noises might be caused by loose pipes under the floorboards. So if you think this is the case, it's best to get a gas safe registered engineer to <laughs> take a look. Oh no, my radiator's leaking, what do I do? A radiator leak could be caused by several things, including a leaking valve or corrosion. If you notice a radiator leaking water, you should turn off the valves at each end, and then use a bucket or towel to catch leaking water because you'll be in the splash zone. Then contact a qualified plumber or engineer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and your radiators are in great condition now. Thank you very much and have a great day.